morning everyone welcome back to options inversion and today is 20th of april a weekly expiry and uh, as you know like okay now the mark pre market has opened and uh, bank nifty will be opened at 42 to 18 here in this range so it is kind of flat to slight gap up so i am expecting since the premiums are very low we might you will see further low in these premiums and uh, there's no point in entering these uh, premiums in the starting so we'll better wait for some time or if it is getting rejected from this level then i will say i might take straddle today because from 250 to 200 this is the range until it is not breaking 250 above uh, or uh, to 42000 below then we can expect some sideways moment here with lot of volatility so if it is lot of volatility within the small range then strad playing with straddle is better than strangles as per my you know, knowledge so if it is hovering within this range then i will enter straddles or else if there is a good spike in this premium so when if at all it break taken this out in first 15 minutes then i'll wait for some time and uh, i'll capture these uh, call premiums at good uh, price i'll try to capture that and also one more plan of action is since these hedges are very cheap after market open even if these hedges lose their value a bit then i'll immediately buy these hedges in both the call and put set as we know that hedges will not lose their value immediately so that i'll be ready to capture uh, if that all there is uh, any spike that is first one and coming to my watch list i have uh, listed down from 40 to 800 until 40 to 100 and from put side 40 to 100 all the way down to 41 500 so the plan of action is clear if it breaks 40 to 250 and above and it sustains then i'll shift to p's and i'll try to go directional today i'm planning for directional let's see how it goes yeah if for downside if it breaks this 42000 and uh, starts uh, coming down then i'll exit this put selling i'll start shifting uh, call sellings that's my plan of action today and uh, coming to this one since i have uh, taken on trade positionally in one of my account so what i have done for that so since i'm trading in four family accounts right i have uh, configured my copy trade also ready by generating the request token and everything and in that specific account i used to trade uh, 900 lots so i have reduced my uh, lots in that specific account so today i'll be trading only 750 lots because i'll be carrying this trade until 3 30 because i know that there is a high chance that it might end in either of these triangles i don't know i might go wrong also so th that's the plan actually i have lowered the lots there uh, if at all you are new to my channel and if you are uh, if you also want this copy trading to be done across these accounts so you can uh, see my youtube channel where uh, here in this uh, playlist copy trading software playlist i have uh, shared some videos where i have uh, shared my code working code free also you can go to github and uh, in the in that uh, video link i have shared the github link also everything is shared you can go to the github link download that and i have explained in these videos how to configure that copy trade software and uh, how easily it is done just with the help of simple excel file like this so if at all uh, you are new to this and uh, if you are having still doubts and all you can put in the comment section we'll just try to address them so coming to this one like a uh, plan of action is this one guys like 40 to 250 and above or 40 to 42,000 and below so let's see so since uh, as we know that like since the premiums are very cheap uh, recent in recent days especially in the second half because of low premiums there is a huge gamma spike and uh, most of profits whatever i am earning in first half i'm i'm giving it back in second half that has been the case in last uh, few expiries so today i have made my mind very clear i'll just try to go as per this uh, price analysis and i'll i'll try my best to go directional today i don't know how <laughs> how my adrenaline rush will be because uh, uh, especially on expiry days i have not gone directional with uh, with these many lots by taking leverage so i'll i'll because because it will be difficult to go directional at one shot itself so it needs a different uh, mindset altogether so my mindset have been to be in delta neutral at all the point of time especially on the expiries so today i'm trying to break that and uh, i i don't know how the day goes so le let's see i'll try my best to uh, end green and uh, try to take the advantage of this price moment so coming to nifty nifty is also hovering the same range and uh, 
coming to these right there is a huge number of call writing in 42 uh, 300 and then 42 500 and here 42000 is a good number of put writing so i am expecting it will it might expire between 42 500 to 42000 uh, let's see so it's uh, just in in a minute it's about to open meanwhile let's see if it is opening in this range straddle yesterday was trading at 270 points now after opening yes it opened yes straddle didn't lose the value as you see here oh yes it has lost the value immediately <laughs> ah, okay it has opened and it is getting rejected guys from this level so if you see such low premiums seriously such low premiums for bank nifty we know the volatility of bank nifty so okay 42 800 is trading at 4 rupees 42 800 it is 600 away it's better to buy this 42 800 even 42 900 also because even if you sell 42 500 you are just 400 away and edges are still fine so 42 900 i will buy 42 900 across the accounts now that's okay the three rupee will not lose the value surely i'm telling you guys see it is increasing so let's go and uh, capture that 42 500 yes so oh my god it is done at 3.8 it was at 3 rupee when i showed you guys right 42 900 okay this i have uh, 400 okay it had already few lots because of this yesterday's positional see yesterday's positional it is giving 2200 profit already so if you go here yeah here also this 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 the i'm sure like there is a high chance that it will end in this triangle that's why i just want to keep this as it is let's see and coming to one more family account yeah more all are traded and now okay let's see is there any how are the put edges 4300 and if you are trading at 800 it will not make sense there is a one rupee difference here because since the premiums are low if you are already doing this and uh, if you are giving four away just for hedges and these selling hedges are very cheap then there is no point in buying these hedges right that that is my analogy and also see here since since i had bought my hedges at 41 400 even if you shift to 41 500 just it is difference of 1.5 rupee let's see how this trade will look like so what I'm trying to say is 41400 is at 4.6 41400 if you book this 4.6 if you if you just uh, shift that buying leg you know, there are five lots this is how the payoff graph looks like okay even if it comes down until 4 700 I'll still be in green and uh, by then I will have enough time to keep shifting this car legs and uh, yeah and profitability also hasn't uh, reduced a bit even if it goes down this uh, this blue line also will start coming up so better what i will do in that account i'll shift that hedge from 41 400 to 500 it's just hardly difference of 1.3 rupees so that's how we should calculate guys like when you are shifting these uh, buying hedges right just check the difference between the adjacent uh, strikes if you are shifting adjacent strike just to and uh, if the difference is just hardly one rupee or something if it goes in your favor then you are making the profit of 100 points so the risk reward is almost 1 is to 90 kind of so that is always better to shift so what i am doing in that new account 42 400 41 400 it is i will buy 41 500 p right i will buy this at uh, uh, 125 right 125 lots I am buying and I am exiting 41400 that's it this I exited at 4.4 I am bought it at 5.7 let's update it here this I exited uh, 5.7 see even I have got it at a good discount earlier it was showing 6.7 but I have got it at 5.7 and this I exited at what price I exited this at uh, 4.45 do that 4.45 
so that is how it is now so okay it is going up so the trick of buying has just see guys we had bought it at 5 3.8 now it is 42900 okay fine it's i am telling you until it breaks this 42 250 range or 42 200 we can expect lot of volatile candles here even in one minute candle if you see you see here it is it, uh, it is already started it's nagini dancing <laughs> so oh, how about nifty nifty also okay because still nifty has to break this 16 uh, uh, to to consider today's bullishness it has to break this range 16 6 5, 677 to 16675 this range this is the resistance zone for uh, nifty this one this range if it breaks this and then we can say it is bullish and uh, okay bank nifty is trying but don't trust this guys it's just one candle and we can't even conclude on that so that is fine i know so we have our uh, hedges ready 42900 we bought this at 3.8 it is good but now let us see puts have put hedges must have lost their values right okay it is not 41400 is at 4.7 Uh, 441, 400, 41, 400, 41, 300, 41, 300. Then it's a 500 difference here. Instead, I'll go with uh, 41, 400 because it's just 0.5 here. This is at 4 and this is a 4.6. It's just 0.5. Just for 0.5, there is no point in going out of money. So let's I'll go with 41, 400. Even if it starts going up, those put uh, hedges will gain because people will start buying those hedges for. Uh, margin benefit so i am buying this 41400 itself right 41400 which is at uh, 4.7 now okay this is at point both are increasing this was trading at 3.6 immediately it become 4.6 guys what is this so how about straddle did straddle gain okay not yet okay that's fine so that positional setup is also doing good and what i'll do i'll just uh, keep this side by side so that it will be handy for me to cross check yes okay i'm i'm all placed Forty-one, four hundred. Come on, you are increasing. If you see, forty-one. Uh, see here, that's what I was telling you. Just we can't trust that first candle, so we have to wait for some time and then decide. Even Nifty also, it is getting rejected from that. Uh, from that zone. How is the who? Who are the premiums in Nifty? Let's check the premiums in Nifty. Are okay, seven fifty. Where is seven fifty? Seven fifty. Okay, it's here. Seven uh, fifty is here, and it is at six point seven five and five fifty. Dead see premiums in both instruments. So got to be careful as usual. And meanwhile, let me uh, enter the straddle strikes. What it to five hundred. Forty two four hundred, forty two three hundred. As I told you guys, if it starts boring within this range, then I might take straddle also today. So I'm just waiting for some time to see the price movement. Based on that, I'll decide. Forty two thousand. Okay. Now this is at forty two three hundred levels. Three hundred C ninety six one twenty six. 300 and 200 combination is fine but yeah okay 41 uh, 400 has uh, lost the value a bit let us buy that 41 400 41 400 yeah 41 400 yes guys i bought it just for uh, 41 400 also yes This is at uh, four point. I am sure these these two edges will not lose their value, at least for next one hour. By then, I would enter my uh, 
ट्रेड जस्ट टू क्रॉस चेक यस इन ऑल अकाउंट्स दे हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड ओके सो लुक्स लाइक ओके दिस इज आल्सो टेकिंग ए सपोर्ट बट एट 700 700 देयर इज अ गुड नंबर ऑफ कॉल राइटिंग एंड इन बैंक निफ्टी आल्सो सो नाउ 42600 Since I have my hedges at 900, I think selling 600 half lots, 600 selling half lots, 600 is here and it has good swing at uh, this level and this level. So 600 is at 17. What uh, I'm just thinking, how about taking the straddle combination of 300 and 200? Okay, let's just wait. For, I'll just wait for five minutes more, and then I'll uh, take a call. Forty, forty-one nine hundred. Forty-one nine hundred. Okay, this is here. Forty-one nine hundred. Delta is point one three. Forty-one eight hundred. Hmm. Okay. Again, getting rejected. That's to make you clear the volatility. See the volatility, guys. It's it's left and right. So. because ideally on expiry days if we take our first trade or if we enter our first strike properly with the proper buy chance if we enter them in the right timing right then half of our expiry is done so we we'll, most likely will end in uh, winning cause but if we after we enter if there is a huge spike in those premiums then it will be a lot of pain to fire fight and just whole day will be in recovery mode itself that's why i'm bit skeptical yet to enter uh, but i have entered my cc here uh, both of these edges are gaining that's what i was telling you uh, starting starting itself i wanted to enter this 41900 at 3 rupee but by the time i entered it was already at 3.8 let me to precise let me show you this 41900 chart okay if you go to 1 minute see here it was at 3.2 when we had uh, seen that From 3.2, it went up to 5 also. So let's see. No point in there is no urgency to enter the strikes. We'll wait and then we'll uh, try to capture that. Hmm. How about this one? This is okay. Since it is coming down, is going here. That's why. Okay, we'll try to shift this. Uh, see, like see, the like buying leg like was at. Forty-two nine hundred. It is at four point six. We'll see a difference between four point forty-two nine hundred and forty-two eight hundred. There is almost one point five. Okay, one point five. Okay, we'll wait because it has a good resistance at three hundred and then followed by five hundred. It has the payoff graph until uh, until what? Until six hundred. So it's okay. That should be fine. will leave it as as it is if it comes down by then we'll try to shift this adjust up in the call so so far that's the plan now mm-hmm. that's too much of a look at this first kind of first 2 minute candle from 125 it went up to 300 See, for considering the bank nifty i know this this moment of 200 range is small but considering these premiums right these moments are not at all justifiable wix is hovering at 12 rupee and these market moments are behaving as if wix is at 20 rupee that 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 is what i'm talking about here so okay now let us see but it is looks like it is sustaining above this how about uh, sellers they are exiting and uh, now more number of puts are getting added at 42 200 levels but how about the oi oi okay see here 200 level people are adding these puts guys because it is trying to sustain above 200 and people are adding these uh, 200 puts so we is expecting some upward rally until okay 300 there is a call writing here so there is a tug of war between 300 and 200 that's the reason it is fighting between this range let's see 
so far i have not taken my short trade at and uh, what is happening here because good part about twitter is like sometimes if you are missing any news based events and all <laughs> see here you are like these known people there are like famous personalities here and like even they are talking about this 70 rupees tidal premium <laughs> this nifty is too low premium guys believe it is too low premium considering the history so yeah okay as usual it has taken that resistance we'll see okay 42600 is at uh, 20 now that is at 21 nifty also started up okay now what we will do 41900 41900 okay for 41900 looks okay this is here 41900 is here and uh, because i would have entered this straddle but straddle premiums are too cheap guys if this taken out right then there will be huge spike in straddle premiums and my mtm in no time it will be just see this crazy this put hedges are increasing that's that is what i was talking about so okay now what we will do we'll try to take we'll we'll just see some more time and uh, by then what i'll do i'm just trying to go 42600 half lot and 41900 half lot i'm just since being a conservative trader i'll go very safe guys no problem even if i lose some profit it's fine safeguarding capital is important for me now so for that what i'll do I'll sell 42600 half lot and coming to puts I'll sell 41900. So so now what I will do I'll sell 41. Uh, okay. I'll probably I'll just wait for this swing also whether this swing also taken out or not. it is so tempting to enter this 42 300 uh, straddle guys but i am not i am sticking to my plan i am sticking to my trade plan like since it has broken this range that's why i am skeptical to enter this straddle if it if it had re rejected and hovering within this range suppose in 150 and all i would have maybe i would have entered this straddle of 42 200 but since, since it has already taken out if you go to this hourly support right let me show you see this hourly support there was a swing right here it is trading above that so there is a good chance that it might rally upward so that's why i am not interested to enter straddle so far so now how about this what we can do with this trade since it is going up we have at 800 and then followed by this one so coming to this 41700 buying is at 800 how about shifting that uh, hedge this triangle from this to this right we know that it is it might go up so what i am thinking is like i am just thinking to exit this 800 buying instead i add lots to uh, instead i'll sell the 800 here here in this one and i'll add buying hedges at 41500 itself let's see how the pm graph looks like 41800 and 41700 so 41700 until here after that it will be a free but okay so the we'll see that's how i'm planning now because now if you see it is trading above this range and 42 to 200 and then in 42 more number of put sellers have come in so chances of coming down have reduced far now so for that what we can do i'll just try to exit this uh, 800 just to so it is at 12 rupees right let me let me just uh, experiment and then i'll decide 12.2 and i will add uh, remaining five lots at 41500 41500 i'll add uh, those five lots and i'll sell 41900 uh, remaining five lots yes this is how the pm graph looks like it is at till 863 and uh, 
here also it got increased and if it closes anywhere between this range also it is at 5300 but risk reward is not that favoring hmm. okay i'll not mess up with, with this existing setup because in my existing setup also i'll be doing non-directional with p selling and all so i'll just uh, it's not looking uh, great pf chart and i'll just leave this we'll see okay so this is at 24 again 24 and uh, cp has not okay now let me sell uh, 42 41900 uh, half lots okay 42600 first i'll sell 42600 half lot it is at uh, some good uh, discount Nifty, okay 42 600 half lots okay i have sold this 42 600 okay here also i have sold everywhere it got sold and uh, okay now what i'll do instead of 41 900 i'll sell 42 000 itself guys 42 000 itself half lots i'll sell because so that even if it comes down this 42 600 will lose the value very fast then 42,000 so oh, even though it is coming down it is increasing okay let me sell okay 42,000 also I have sold at 25 this I entered at 24 even though it was kind of getting rejected in one minute candle but still it is increasing okay that's fine If this starts uh, trading above this range, right, then I will add all my puts to 42,000 itself. But I'll keep only half lots of selling at 42,600. So that way, I'll just try to go directional today. Or if it starts rejecting from this level and coming down, still I'll keep this 42,000 uh, selling and uh, this 42,600 uh, CE selling. Because we know now 42,200 uh, levels, more number of put sellers have come in here so if you go to this uh, this one yeah 42 200 and then followed by 42 we will have enough time to adjust our uh, positions so, so far both the edges have gained a lot and uh, yeah that that is how <laughs> trading in low wix environment has been so looking at these premiums if we are entering at first candle on fomo based uh, FOMO driven moments and all then these days it is lot of uh, painful that's why we have to wait and enter now okay here because here more pain is because of uh, high number of lots here at that yesterday's trade so okay if it is if it breaks this then i'll enter my remaining uh, half lots of 42,000 uh, PE selling that's it like this i'll have my setup ready otherwise i'll just we i'll see and i'll watch this price action how it behaves that's the plan now okay now i've entered the full lots in uh, call as well as puts so when it was trading here and nifty was also going up that's when i had uh, entered my full lots of p at uh, 42,000 levels and uh, seeing the rejection Seeing the rejection, I added remaining half lots of call also at 42,600. Now the plan is until and unless it is not breaking this high, it is not coming below 42,200 and uh, trading here. I will not do anything with these uh, sold legs. That's the plan. As long as this is hovering within this range, I'll keep it as it is. That's that's how it is. If it breaks this 42,200 coming below, then because these put sellers are more here and they will be exiting in panic that's when we can expect some good uh, spike in uh, pe premiums that one i'll exit half lots of pe shift to 41900 so similarly from 42600 i'll add back to 42500 or else i'll leave this trade as it is guys let's see how this goes so so far this is the thing hedges only have given me profit still now because the uh, last couple points in uh, selling uh, yeah that's how it is
ओके टाइम इज टेन ओ फाइव एंड यू फी सी माई एम टी एम एम टी एम इज थ्री के एंड अक्रॉस द अकाउंट इट इज सेम सो दिस इज मोर बिकॉज आई हैड द पोजिशनल सेटअप इन दिस अकाउंट दट सो इट इज शोइंग मोर सो एंड इन माई वाइफ अकाउंट ऑल्सो इट इज शोइंग द प्रॉफिट बिकॉज लाइक आई टोल्ड यू राइट द प्लान इज अनलेस दिस डे हाई इज टेकन आउट एंड फोर्टी टू टू फिफ्टी टू टू हंड्रेड इफ दिस रेंज बिकॉज मोर नंबर ऑफ फूड सेलर्स आर हियर Nifty, even though it is coming down like these days, just leave this. Any time it will again reverse back, and we can see a huge uh, V shape recovery. So until this 250 to 200 range is taken out, I'll not shift this PE also. I'll just leave it. If it if it breaks down this range, then I'll start shifting my calls. And until and unless I'll just leave this trade as it is. That's the plan. And coming to this positional trade, positional trade is also doing it as doing the adjustments and all. But since it is coming down. I have uh, not done any adjustment yet, so so far this also looks good. So yeah, if it comes down and end any end anywhere between this also, I'll end up with 2.3. If it comes in this triangle, then it will be a jackpot trade for this setup. So let's see now. It is trading hovering at uh, 250 range. Yeah. So now the chances that even if it goes up, I have range until 600. the downward i have the range once it comes down i'll just try to shift this triangle from uh, 800 600 range to little bit inside so that i'll get better uh, range here also uh, that's how i'm planning let's see how it uh, spans out so yeah so even if it is coming down these puts are not spiking up a lot as expected because we know that there is a uh, good support here followed by 200 that's the reason actually so that's why i am not worried about that put selling and now yeah call sellers are also being added to 300 put sellers are there in 300 and 200 and 42000 followed by how about nifty nifty also okay that's why nifty there is a good call rating at 700 put rating at uh, 650 and 600 that's why that's how as per the oi this is behaving so yeah this has come down to 14 now if this 200 is taken out what i'll do i'll shift my 600 uh, lots to 500 so what i'll do that is in the money shifting right 42 600 to 42 to 500 that is how i'll do and uh, if at all that puts are spiking out then i'll go out of money from 42 to 4100 only half lots so okay now this is spiking out what i'll do i'll uh, take my i'll add my half lots of 600 to 500 because even if it reverses this reverses from this range how about nifty okay there is one cpr here 600 it's a kind of reversal zone i can say we'll uh, we'll wait for some more time we'll wait and then we'll decide okay time time is 10:15 and uh, as planned see here exactly from this swing it is getting reversed same is in nifty also it is uh, reversing from cpr level because cpr is also there 600 level more number of put sellers are also here same is in bank nifty because more number of put sellers are here here so if this is if this level is taken out day side then we can expect a good rally until 500 we know no from 500 if these days this magic numbers are also not uh, respected by markets at all they will be taken out immediately for that what i did i didn't do any adjustments to these existing positions as per the plan i'm just leaving it as it is and one change what i have done to my positional setup is like uh, see here i was what i told you uh, since like market is it is trying to go up what i did i have uh, shifted half lots of uh, ce selling legs from 500 to 600 and also exited my 800 uh, um, 700 selling leg and i have added all to 900 See here, nine hundred and bought the hedges at six uh, hundred. This is how the payoff graph looks like. And if it goes here, uh, and range also increased earlier, the range was until six hundred. Now the range increased to seven thirty. So that if it starts going up, blue line also starts going up along with this, and I'll end up making more profit. Same has been uh, done in this account. I have done the adjustments accordingly. I have uh, shifted from uh, as I showed told you, half lots I have exited and uh, entered at six uh, hundred like that. so so that like uh, danger is also not there in the upside even if it starts going upward i am fine with it so until this range is not taken i will not exit that 600 selling same with 
42,000 thousand PE selling also. That's the plan, guys. Simple. So hopefully today will go as per my plan. I don't know. It's been pretty long day since I have uh, seen some uh, decent profit during expiry days. So yeah, hopefully today is the day, and uh, <laughs> we never know. Generally, I am losing all my profits back in second half. That's where the trouble is. So today I have some plan for the second half. If I'm making good profit before 1:30 or something, I'm planning to exit this sellings, and I'm I'll just wait for uh, better chances to capture the remaining. Uh, Uh, half maybe after two o'clock or something. That that's how I'm planning today. Let's see. Time is ten thirty, and if you see here, it the bank Nifty again is getting rejected from three forty and four uh, hundred levels. So again, remember once it breaks this two forty range and starts coming down, then next CBCD we harmonic will get activated, and as per that, the target is forty to one fifty. So 100 point down target. So if it is coming down, then what I'll do? I'll uh, shift my 600 uh, sell all my selling uh, to 500. Instead of half, I'll uh, shift full. So okay, looks like it is coming down. So I'll uh, sell uh, full. Yes, I've shifted all my 600 lots to 500 lots. And meanwhile. Let me shift to forty-two to forty-one nine hundred just to control the damage. We know that it is coming down, right? I'll go out of money for uh, put options. So yeah, that is how the plan is. Like yeah, I have shifted all my calls to forty-two five hundred and the puts have been uh, split up because now XBCD is activated and uh, target is forty-one one forty-two one fifty. Let's see how this pans out. Candle close, uh, candle uh, should close ideally, but since being a conservative trader, I just want to, uh, uh, I just don't want to take risk. And since I am in pretty decent MTM, so I just don't want to spoil that. That that's the plan now. So yeah, let's see. Okay, guys, time is eleven thirty, and uh, what a day! When it has taken out this three fifty three hundred, it got rejected from three uh, seventy level, and after that, look at these candles and P is like P became more than doubled in this moment. That's why what I have I had done is I had shifted my forty two P to forty one nine hundred, and uh, C is also had shifted down. But now like uh, since the delta was not matching, so what I have done now I have taken the half lots of uh, C is at forty two five hundred and half lot at forty two. Six hundred. Same is being done with the forty-two P and forty-one nine hundred. Both half of lots are placed in these ones. So yeah, I mean, so far I haven't gone in negative, but there is a there is a MTM fluctuation here with these small small moments. These option premiums. You can look at this call option in one minute. So this was at eighteen and it became twenty-seven in just two to three minutes. So like that, option premiums have been uh, scaling up. So that's why I'm carefully I'm uh, again shifting to out of money so that I'm safeguarding my profits and uh, we'll try to end in green today. That that's the target now. And coming to this uh, trade, I have done one adjustment where I had uh, 600 calls right selling. I have added back to 500 calls. That's how the payoff graph is looking and this is also doing decent. So that's how it is. Now the plan is if three. Three hundred to three fifty. The three fifty swing is also taken out. Then I will add all my calls from five hundred to six hundred. P is I'll shift to forty two thousand. So that I'll try to stay as much away as possible today. So that's the plan. I'm. I don't want to come closer. So now, until this range is not taken out, I'm good with forty two five hundred calls. So puts unless it is breaks forty two two hundred, I am good with forty two thousand PE also. So that I'll just keep them as it is until then. Time is twelve forty five and uh, see I'm again back to square one. My empty was good, but look at these candles right? This these volatile candles. Even now when when Nifty broke this uh, channel at this time, Bank Nifty also started coming down just some forty point move. Okay. All my puts were at forty-two uh, thousand, and uh, see how they have reacted. This was at 
16 and it became uh, 30 in no time like uh, just in 5 to 6 minutes just with small moments of 40 point so that's that's how these options are behaving today very crazy behavior of options so controlling mtm uh, stable has been a challenging after i posted that morning mtm so yeah guys like the difference between back testing and live trading is this one see in back testing what we will do we will look at this price graph and uh, in the hindsight we feel that okay everything looks simple right it is trading within this 100 point range and uh, we happily back test but in reality see we only these small candles sometimes these options will be behaving crazily that time we will be forced to adjust them you now also see this put is spiking and why nifty okay nifty is coming down that's why this put is spiking a lot that's the reason like uh, this is going from 14 to 20 it was at 22 now it is 26 my mtm must be negative yeah it is negative and uh, how about call sellers call sellers more at uh, 42 300 i can shift to 42 500 the problem is if generally these days we are seeing huge reversals and in no time this 17 will become 30 40 any time it will become 50 also that's why i am skeptical so now this is trading at dynamic support and 40 to 200 is a good uh, swing here so we'll see i'll not take the decisions in a hurry instead even though this is coming down the but 6 17 600 has a huge put writing in nifty also and followed by good support is there here in nifty so 600 p yeah huge number of uh, put writers are there bank nifty yeah there is this call writing in 300 followed by 200 so okay even if it is coming down that's nothing to worry i'll just shift my call from 600 to 500 now so I'll be shifting from 600 to 500. If 200 is taken out, then I'll uh, exit 42,000 puts and add back at uh, 41,900. So that's the plan now. Let's see how it goes. Okay, guys, time is 140 and uh, see what a price action. So I was <coughs> I was having all my calls at 42,400 when it was trading below 42,400. But seeing this breakout, there was a small trend line breakout. I exited my 400 calls and uh, shifted to 42,500. But see here, I exited them at what price? I exited them at 27 and entered this at uh, 14. And immediately after I exited, right, look at this because of this red candle. And let me show you in one minute. See here. In one minute, it went from 19 to 28 and the same just within two minutes again it was back to square one so these sort of moves are hurting actually so like no matter what like <laughs> the mtm is not going in my favor still so yeah let's see i have all my puts at uh, 41 900 because 40 to 200 is a support and then followed by 42 is also there so with that with that uh, analysis i have my puts at uh, 41 400 at calls at 42 500 i had spread those calls between 400 to 500 but this 400 call is troubling a lot so now it's a reversal zone even in nifty also so if at all it reverses now this reversal now will be fast and furious as we have seen in the recent expiries so on the call side i'm a bit uh, careful so put side 41 900 so far looks good let's see if this 250 and uh, 300 is taken out then i'll shift my puts from uh, 900 to 42000 that is the plan now so far the mtm is yeah it is still i'm in negative let's see how it tends okay what a day we are having and uh, this this candle right this candle has uh, done lot of damage to my mtm and uh, kind of bad luck i can say because like when it started going up so nifty was also picking up looking at this candle what i had done i had shifted my puts from half lots from 41900 to 42000 but look just what happened in just one minute i had shifted them 355 not even one minute okay i had shifted this half lots from uh, 900 to 42000 see this 20 became 48 not even in one minute that has uh, created damage guys if and this is 41900 was still at 21 if i had uh, kept this as it is like i wouldn't have lost this 10 point so that 10 point is the mtm now here otherwise i would have uh, 
it would have been good and uh, yeah can't help it even now also i have uh, shifted my puts from 41900 to 41800 because it was just hovering this support and if at all it had broken down then it this uh, 22 would straight away jump to 35 40 so now then my day will be completely ruined so my plan is now looking at the current uh, situation what i am in i don't want i am not targeting uh, anything now so just ending flat after brokerage i'll be happy with uh, today because given this price structure look at this volatile moves guys like it has be, went all the way from 42 100 to 43350 then down then up then down so again there is lot of fake moves over here also it had taken out this swing again it got rejected even now also there was a huge uh, breakdown in this candle again it is uh, reversing so this has been the case all day and can't help it so my target is to end flat today now looking at uh, this price moment i don't want to oh, even at 3 pm right generally i used to target something at 3 pm candle but today i will not even try that i'll just try to close this uh, trade uh, smoothly that is the plan now okay time is 2:30 and uh, wow this gamma moves and this price action it's just unplayable guys see here like this 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 candle would be enough right if you see here 42 to 300 call it had come down from for 35 to 12 and now it is going to 24 again so even the smallest of small candles like this is the 175 to to and yeah 40 points candle so even these set of candles right if you see the almost whole day candle size has been very big considering the volatility wix is at uh, just 12 rupee uh, yeah 12 rupee and uh, see the candle sizes each almost each of these candles are trading from 50 to 60 points and all that is very difficult to tackle so even like as per this what i did is like since it is trading within this uh, uh, small trend line i had shifted my puts from 41900 to 42000 41,942. Now I'm at 42 and 42, 400. So that's the plan. I don't know. I had shifted to 42, 300 just now, but again looking at the way it is picking uh, upside, I have exited back and uh, and entered back to 42, 400. So now the plan is uh, as long as this is trading within this range, this trend line, or uh, it is not going above 42, 300, I'm good with this. I'll just. I'm done with today. I'm kind of exhausted the way <laughs> playing with markets. Even if these two goes to zero, I'll end up with uh, maybe 0.4 percent after all these charges. So pretty. I feel that is enough for such volatile markets. We can't expect more. And also coming to this strategy which I had uh, said right like yesterday, this is doing really smooth. And uh, if at all even if gamma picks up in the upside. it will be happy actually from 42400 until 42600 it will get a maximum profit if it closes anywhere between the range also it will have uh, 4200 profit that is decent for the given capital it's almost it will be almost 1% so let's see so if this is coming down then what i will do if uh, if it starts rejecting okay this is rejecting from this trend line if it if it breaks this trend line what i'll do i'll shift half of my lot from 400 to 300 again and uh, we'll see so or else i'll just leave it now again like uh, guys one thing recently we are seeing lot of gamma moves in the second half right so i just thought of one uh, trade what i did here is like uh, i i have again created a batman which was closer strike price see, i had uh, bought uh, Lex at 300 and uh, sold at 400. Bought again at 500. Like this, just in 100 to 200 rupees differences, I had uh, created. See, idea behind this creation of this uh, strategy, which I had just created some uh, half an hour back, is because we know in the second half there is a lot of uh, gamma moves, right? These days, delta moves. If at all there is a good delta move in either side, see here. Even though it is showing the, if market ends in this range, it will still give loss of minus 1200. but now already this blue line is giving me profit of 1300 with the capital deployed if at all gamma picks up from 42 to 300 until 500 it makes a good profit see here even here also 42000 it make good profit until 41800 so i'm just coming up with uh, such uh, strategies in the second half because like nowadays we know 
trading in second half has been very challenging being a non directional so i'm exploring uh, such uh, ideas so i'll i'll observe this for few more expiries and i'll back test uh, again considering the previous expiries and all then i'll try to include this in my system also by making this flat in the center if at all uh, i am profitable in the first half i'll exit and i'll create such strategies by making it flat here so that if delta picks up in the second half we will uh, end up with a good profit or we'll we know the adjustment if it is if there is a huge delta move continuously and all we'll, we know the adjustment we keep shifting this side or we'll exit the double selling of uh, that side that way we will manage so no issues yeah it is going up and uh, yeah it should be fine fine no yeah so same in other accounts also fine i think i'll be done with this today like i i don't think yeah we never know time is uh, 235 we never know gamma might pick up immediately and uh, huge number of sellers are 200 300 and then put sellers are also here so we we never know where market will end according to this 5 minute chart so yeah let's see that's the plan hope you guys are also having a great day so let's see okay so welcome back and time is uh, 3:15 what a day i don't I, i don't remember guys like when we had a decent expiry in the recent times and same in nifty it as usual it it is uh, bounced back from the low and uh, look at these candles guys the, these are huge volatile candles and they troubled a lot to manage these uh, mtm swings but luckily after all these charges i'll end up with uh, 0.4% and the strategy which i have uh, shared right that also has done pretty decent and uh, some time back we were discussing on the uh, strategy to tackle the gamma mozi it, it closed in negative but it was about to come in green if it has the crossed of 42 300 nevertheless i'll try to explore such uh, opportunities in the coming expiries also and i'll try to experiment this strategy after 1 o'clock in the previous expiries where there was a huge gamma move and without gamma move let me experiment back test and then uh, we'll come up with a strategy because these days handling gamma moves in the second half has been really challenging that's why i'm planning for uh, such strategies to deploy in the second half if i'm uh, profitable in the first half so that i can sit uh, peacefully and adjustments can be done uh, easily if it is going in the one direction so that's the plan going forward and uh, hope you guys also had a great expiry do let me know in the comment section and uh, if you like this video uh, please like and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have any suggestions right since i'm started uh doing these videos recently if you have any improvement plans for me please let me know so that i can work on it so that's it from me guys like uh, see you in the next expiry and uh, have a great day